I was in a writing class the other day, uh, beginning television and film, and my teacher said something really, really smart, and I was like, oh, heroes change, villains don't change. My brain like went, and it was filled with Skittles. Have you heard of imposter syndrome? I, I'm like obsessed with it. The idea that we all feel like imposters and like if we're doing anything important, we're just thinking to ourselves, I am faking this. This is, you know, I am not really this or I'm not really that. In improv scenes, you go in and you're given a character or you're giving, or you give yourself a character. Anytime somebody gives me military man, I'm like, oh, he launch the torpedoes. That's the Navy. Well done. The whole idea is if you pretend to be something, you become it. Right? Shoulders back, head up. Is there space between my ears and my shoulders? Because I want to go like this all the time. Mare normal? Me now. Why, hello there. I had garlic bread for dinner. That's truth. And it were good. I really like the music man. I love... No. No, I don't like The Music Man. I love The Music Man. And I always feel a little guilty about it. People are always like, oh, The Music Man? Oh, that's such frothy. That's like lightweight. That ain't nothing. Like, it actually has a really interesting message when you think about it. It is a Pied Piper story. And I want to be my own Pied Piper. I don't know about anybody else. I think we're so afraid of being delusional. Don't be delusional. It's like, um... A lot of delusional people end up actually doing great things. Or they don't even know that they didn't do great things, and in their mind they did. Anyway, so the story of the Music Man is this man, Professor Harold Hill, not his real name, comes into a small Iowa town. And he shows up and he's like, guess what? I sell boys' bands. And it's a small town and they're all kind of like boop, boop, ba doop, doop. We can be cold as a falling thermometer in December if you ask about our weather in July. There are so many parts that have barbershop quartets. Barbershop quartets are like my musical crack. These singers are making magic tricks with their mouths. Um, Harold Hill. So he comes in and he convinces this town, you know what, you need a boys band because you got trouble, my friends. In this town, there's this one woman who can bring him down. Librarian named Marion. Madam Librarian. What? That's adorable. And she teaches music so she can actually figure out the fact that this guy is a complete flim flam man. Say that 20 times fast. Flim flam man, flip flam man, flim 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 flam man. Marion has this little brother named Winthrop. Winthrop Peru, and he's played by Ronnie Howard, and he's about that big. A little bit bigger. And can I add to it that Winthrop has a lisp? So then the Wells Fargo wagon shows up with everybody's instruments. And that's when you see that Winthrop actually really is excited. And he runs up. He runs up, he grabs his little coronet, his little little hands, and he runs up to his sister and he goes, Fifth or fifth or did you ever see such a shiny, shiny thing in your sight? Basically the gist is that he's like, this is amazing and I'm so happy. This whole thing is fake. But the joy is real. Maybe that is the lesson here. We all need to be our own Harold Hills, and I think we all need to be our own Pied Pipers, and I think we all need to sometimes just say to ourselves, you know, I am going to choose to see myself a certain way that I want to be, and then maybe I'll become that. Fake it till you make it.